Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are back in Exile Survival. Hey, how are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. Right, so I'm playing these games back to back, so second recording today, so I haven't seen any of the initial comments um, from the initial video, so hopefully they're all positive, they're all good, hopefully there's plenty of questions, and once I get a third video out, hopefully I'll be able to address some of the comments uh, through both videos one and two, but for now, we're gonna do the second video, and we'll see what else is available to us now and how far we can sort of get in the game. I might go into the four, uh, four, level four zones today, check those out as well, and see what type of enemies and resources that we can get our hands on. What I'm gonna do at the start is I'm just gonna grab this and I wanna make a bonfire. So that's something that I wanna do right now. So let's just go ahead and do that bonfire, where are we? So I'll need some copper. I don't know if I had any in my uh, chests. Let's go ahead and have a quick peek. I do have some copper. And actually what you'll find is, which is actually what I, I do really like as well, you don't essentially need to run and grab resources from your inventory just so you can um, you know, craft an item or do something. So that feature I actually love. It's in another game that I play as well, being Westland Survival. You don't really need to worry about grabbing, um, you know, uh, equipment or resources just so you can get the job done. So yeah, big up to the developer for this one here. Anyway, while I'm here, I may as well just grab all this as it is. And like as uh, like I said in the previous video as well, you'll pretty much find everything that you need to get yourself up and running in your home zone. So once you've sort of done that, then you will have you know enough resources so you can sort of move on and um, you know go into zones, explore, and things like that. So right now, what I want to do is let's go ahead and craft up this fella here, and let's just go ahead and take it. So you can't you can't actually take it from the um, uh, this little menu bar up here, the pre-menu bar that I'm calling it at the moment. So you'll have to keep that in mind because especially if you want to. Um, Know, use that as um, additional storage slots so when you go out on you know tougher zones or quests or things like that you can't sort of you know um, uh, equip those or you utilize to save a weapon or, or an armor kit and I'll explain what I mean in a moment as well so what I mean by that is pretty much in your inventory yeah if you've got a full inventory you've got you know very little um, equipment or you've got no equipment left and your armor's completely toast you basically go back into your crafting menu here and let's say you've got a couple of days in reserves you can't essentially click from this here to add it in you'll have to go and take go back and then you'll have to take it from your inventory so what you probably want to do with that then would be my advice is if you're you know press for inventory space and things like that you probably just want to um find yourself a chest or um or something that you can drop a couple of things into that and then um get your stuff into your inventory, add them and equip, and then away you go. So I just thought I'd bring that up anyway. Um, so furnace, uh, let's go ahead and I might just actually put that close by to this fella here. Sort of makes sense. Now that I've done that, let's see what that has available to us. Um, there we go. So fried meat, okay, cool. So I could actually make some meat here. I don't have any trees and things like that that I've chopped down, so let's go ahead and do that anyway. And grab some of that. And I think that was another bit of wood there, perfect. And do that. Quest complete, so I'm just knocking out quests without even looking at them at the moment. Um, not by, by design here, but just, you know, out of sheer coincidence, I guess. And there we go, so I've got two meats on the way. Uh, let's go ahead and check out any quests that I need to make. So I've done the bonfire. Hide armor, I've already did before because I did that beforehand. And I've pretty much done some of the story, the basic storyline here. Uh, basic floor, so basically what it's telling us here is that there's a few things that we can do. I can make a few more floors and then that'll give me some of that quest line done. Uh, carpenter's bench, yeah, I definitely want to do that as well. What does that cost us? Uh, carpenter's workbench. So I'll need some wood. And if I can 
find that in the home zone, I'll definitely knock it out here in the home zone and get our carpenter's bench all sorted out. And again, that'll give us more upgradeability. You gotta wait until the guy's animation is complete, otherwise he doesn't pick up the resource, which you've just seen there, if you didn't catch that. But if you didn't catch that, let me just see if I can replicate that again. So, okay. So if you try and pick it up, oh, no, I did it. It must have been a bug on my end. Anyway, here's what it is. Uh, um, let's go ahead and get the carpenter's bench sorted out, and I'm guessing that we're gonna only have the ability to build it here, I'd imagine. So let's just, just see how we go with that. Furnace is the next thing I want to I grab as well, but I'm gonna have to venture out in a moment and get some resources because I'm running out at this point. So let's just create the carpenter's workbench. Let's grab that. It's in our inventory and furniture. I can add it there, but I can't add it here. Why is that? I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm probably guessing that this will probably be, you know, for your home base, I guess. By the looks of things, I think that's probably going to be apparent here. Workstations are going to be over here by the looks of things. So I might just put you, if I can, okay, let's just, I wanted to, okay. Well, it's not giving me the ability to, oh, there we go. Ah, I'm trying to work out how this game works. So the mechanics in this are a lot different to other games that I've played, but it's very fluid. Um, okay, so you can actually make um, planks and things like that. We need to unlock them. We need level 25. Wow, so there's a lot of things that you need here. Uh, okay, so Shaman's Pipe, you can dis disassemble that. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that before, to be honest with you. And yeah, so that is our carpenter's bench. Um, so the quest line here. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's go ahead and take that. Build a tanner. Gather resources. We've done that. Knocked that out of out of the park here. Nothing yet in the weekly uh, rewards section. Um, how am I going for inventory management? Um, I'm going to drop some stuff off. And I think we should probably go out and head into a zone. I just want to sort of give you guys a bit of a, a basic run through on how we're looking with. Um, basic mechanics in the zone and things like that so hopefully you guys sort of enjoyed that a little bit but I want to go into a level 4 zone now I'm at a level 5 let's see what um, appears here so you've got the Hunter's Canyon here and then you've got this uh, crossroads here which I don't think I went into beforehand um, and then you've got the Crimson River Beach I noticed that the level 2 zone disappeared so I'm guessing once you sort of progress in the game the weaker zones sort of drop off after a while. I'm just thinking out loud here, but I'm guessing that's probably the situation there. Let's go over to this level four zone and let's see what is in here. Haven't been in here before, so we're definitely checking this out now and for the first time, of course. And who do we have over here? Okay, so it's just another young hunter. So, no changes there. Grab some of that herb and seeds, whatever that was. Get some wood over here. What have I got over here? So there's just a little boar over here. So let's come over and take him out. Okay, and one more hit. Perfect. Okay, take your stuff. And there's some clay here if we want to take some of that as well. Alrighty, so let's go over here. I'm just going to purposely leave the heels here because I don't need them right now. So I'm just going to sort of make my way over here. Get the attention of one of these guys over here. I'll take them out one by one. Okay, as you can see, as a reminder guys, you've got to make sure that little blue ring appears on your enemy. Then you can start hitting them. I don't know how that's going to work out with uh, ranged weapons, if there's going to be any sort of ranged weapons into the game. Actually, let's have a quick look. Is there any ranged weapons right now? You've got a sword. You've just got the basic club here. I don't know what does what deals more damage. 
40 max durability, 5 damage, critical chance, okay. And that doesn't, okay. So the sword offers up a little bit more in damage multiplier. You got these guys here, so probably have to start healing as I'm sort of getting beaten here at the moment, which isn't too bad. surroundings and my own uh, health bar and all that sort of stuff but I guess in the early stages of the game you guys will have a lot more um, well you'll have less uh, worry about healing unless if you're bombarded with um, you know enemies such as this and I guess with that being said you also have um, you know the luxury of leveling up quicker which will replenish your health bar as it is so um, keep that in mind just thought I point it out anyway as we're sort of going along, of course. Get some of this wood here. Okay, and can I get the attention of you? Come this way, come this way. Let's just take out this young boy here. Not a problem. Just broken the weapon there, so I'm going to have to... Actually, I've broken all my weapons, just about. Alright, so I might have to double back a little bit, and I want to take, grab some copper, so let's open up this copper node, okay, and I want to craft the basic sword, alright, so, ooh, nice, I've got access to a sturdy bag, that's going to give me more uh, inventory slots, great, so what do I need? thick cloth and leather so I'll need the tanning rack and I'm guessing a loom of some description will need to be um, created I would imagine uh, I don't think I can see a loom here uh, do, 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 do. okay nothing yet I do want to get the furnace up and running as well so that's probably the next thing I want to look at wooden chair wooden table the forge, I've already got the forge, so you don't need that. But that, yeah, definitely want to get. Okay. But anyway, um, did I grab it? I did grab that. So let's equip that. Perfect. Okay. Now I've got a little bit of confidence now going into this part over here. So, ooh. Well, I'll go over here for now. Out of his way, nice. Just sidestep that. Perfect. Right. Let's go back. I just want to go over and defeat that little boar over there. I don't know what what else is over there anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna heal. I'm on the verge of leveling up at the same time as well, so I'm not that far away. Okay. And hopefully later on I'll get some better memory as well. That will be soon-ish, I would imagine. I'll need the axe. So I do want to get some... I do want to get some wood. So let's just go ahead and break that that fella. And chop down the sea. It. That's what I did. I wanted to die. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. How's my inventory space looking? I don't know if I want to use that now. It's just a basic axe. Ah, uh, what have I done? Anyway. Live and learn. I'm just going to continue on. I just want to get through the zone. Probably, I don't know, we might go back if I haven't, you know, filled up my inventory space yet. I'll probably delete the axe and set up something else, I don't know. Why are you running away? Come back. Ooh. Ooh. Get out of there. Wow, okay. No, 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 no. It's a little sneaky fella, any. So that's interesting. I don't know what that's all about. I think when you're in combat mode, 
you sort of you sort of like go into like a crouching stance, I guess. No, okay. Okay, so he does a bit of damage. Just be careful. And he's a slippery one. Here we go. Get out of his way. What has he got there? He's got some bread. And there's a whole bunch of copper here that I can collect. Now it is time sensitive, so you can actually run back to this zone as well. And ooh, that's what I wanted. Oh. You know what? I think that's what the game is doing by design. 100 percent Because it gives me accessibility now to get the sturdy bag, which I'm definitely doing. It's happening. Um, the leather hide, I'm probably going to have to go back home, create the, um, the tanner here, yeah. and then all the hide that I pick up, I'll be able to use that. And we'll have, excuse, a little bit of a burp there, and, and I'll have that option there to um, uh, create the next, um, yeah, the little bag that I've got going on. But I think that's the zone. So, not a crazy zone by any means. But we should be able to go back and pick up some of the, all that sort of stuff there. So we'll probably go ahead and do that um, probably later on. Don't know if I'll do that on camera yet or anything like that. But that is the level 4 zone that I've just, yeah, completely finished. So let's jump out. Um, let's head back home. Running a little bit low on energy, but I think we should be okay. And as you've seen there, a couple of other zones popped up as well. These are level 5 based now. So, it's actually kind of cool. You get different zones that pop up from time to time, especially when, you, when you're you know, first leveling up and things like that. I think that's pretty neat. And I think, you know, for now, it sort of brings a little bit more excitement into the game um, as you're sort of playing along kind of thing. Um, I think eventually, once you sort of hit that little, um, you know, uh, barrier where your your level ups are a little bit far in between i think that might slow down i'm not too sure but i'm just you know speculating at this stage um all right so tan up that's what i want to construct which i don't have the wood are you serious i don't have the wood for that um, i've got a couple of skill points there i won't use that right away and what else i want to do i think i might want to drop a few things off actually yeah i want to keep that safe as well that. It's just you can't double click. No, but you can drag. No, you can't drag across. Really? Wow. Okay. No, no, you can't. Okay, so five is the maximum. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So there's certain things that you can sort of, I guess, utilize here. But I'm gonna have to create. Another floor, and now I want to see if we can create another chest, which I don't have the resources for. Okay, so we are sort of running a bit on the um, on the overloaded side here. Well, can I continue on and making? So they, they do take a while for them to be created, so that's fine. At least I sort of drop some uh, resources in, which is good. And at least that way if I can sink some more resources into something else, then at least that way we can, you know, kind of move on and have a little bit more inventory opened up to us. So we've got wooden boards, just standard wood. Disassemble, you saw that before. Okay. What I'm going to need to do is I need to create a copper axe or hatchet here. So I am going to make sure that I've got enough inventory space as possible, which I kind of do and kind of don't at the same time. Drop that in there. So at best, this is what I've come up with. Drop that in there. Alright, so we'll probably just head out quickly, find some loose wood, 
back in that zone we were just at. And hopefully from there we can grab some bits and pieces, grab all the wood, create, uh, create the tannery at the very least. At least that way you guys get to see uh, that today because I don't think I'll be able to... Um, uh, oh yes, you can zoom in. I just realised that. Cool. And yeah, so you guys will be able to see that and hopefully um, just sort of get a little bit more of an understanding of the game, I guess. Um, Alright, so if I grab this. Yes. Oh no, 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 no. I think there was copper on the other side. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to have to run all the way over to the other side. Just so I can get this hatchet up and running. Yep, it's making me do that. While I'm here, let's pick up everything. And I don't know if this pickaxe will break. It's all good. I've picked up pretty much everything there. Just quickly grab this. So that's the other thing that's being created. Right. That's interesting. Because I created that, so it came off the same inventory slot. I don't know if it did do that. Yeah. So you have to take that. Oh. Alright, so early in the video, disregard what I said before. You can't sort of hoard things on here or anything like that. You're going to have to take it before you can do anything there. My bad. But at least that way you sort of know now. <laughs> um, so, let's just go back into the crafting table. Let's grab that. And I'm just going to break open that copper node over here. Okay. And again, I'm not going to worry about the heels right now. I've got quite a bit of heels at the moment, so I should be okay. But wood is high on my list of priorities right now. Okay, so let's just whisk over here. And let's take out this tree. Let's just run over here. Okay, so that's the end of the zone map there. I think there was a bit of wood over here as well, and I'll probably end up grabbing the clay just because I can. Okay, guy oh, looks a little bit buggy or glitchy there, so again, this game's early access, so you guys gotta understand that as well. It's not perfect, but so far, what I'm seeing here is actually really, really good. I'm impressed. I'm just gonna grab some of this, and I'll just add that to my a little hot bar over here. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it from the zone over here. So I'm just going to drag that across. Um, tannery, what do I need for that? Wow, I'm missing one, one piece of wood there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to, I think this was the other level, that's a level 5 zone. Is that a level 4 zone? You know what, let's live a bit dangerously, go to the level 4 zone. And let's check out what the level 5 zone has to offer us. Okay, any big bad enemies here? We've got this fella here. Let's get out of his way. Don't want to get hit by his power attack there, it looks pretty vicious. Okay, Ooh, what was that? Piece of rope, okay. It looks a little bit different from all the other pieces of rope. Okay, so you guys are hiding, uh, guarding that chest, so I'm going to take you out there. Ooh, you actually do a bit of damage. Okay. Oh, well, so at least you had some cloth on you. 
Okay, let me just eat the bread. And let's go over here. And I'm just going to grab a few things over here real quick. Oop. Okay. Will I take this guy on? Oh, wow. He actually does a bit of damage. Okay. Cool. Got him out. What is that? Okay. Grab that. Let's see what this chest has to offer here. Ooh, copper bar. Yes, thank you. And I wanted to, oh no, inventory's full. Oh no. Um, okay, what do I take? What do I leave? I'm gonna take, yeah, let's delete that. Because I need the wood. I need wood. All right, great. So to be honest, I don't think I'm going to have much luck in this zone right now. So I might have to regroup because there are some pretty tough customers over here. Inventory's full. Yeah, so you see these guys all guarding this over here. I'm not going to be able to make my way in. I'll need a better weapon and all that sort of stuff. Don't know what this thing, oh, that's another boar. So we're just going to go ahead and outrun that thing. And I'll probably just leave the zone for now. And I just want to get back. And now that I've got some wood there, I should be fine in crafting the tannery and all that sort of stuff. So let's just do that. And I might just see if I can dump some things back into these storage units here. Okay, let's just go over here quickly. Perfect. Um, great. I think what I might do over here is plant that seed. Let's create the tanner. Take that. Can I do another chest? I cannot. But at least you guys get to set the tanner now, so let's just go ahead and create that bad boy. Just gonna whack him in here. And just drop that there. Perfect. And let's make a whole bunch of leather. Which I can't do much at the moment, so I'm gonna have to kill some more boars and things like that. And then we'll be able to get uh, more leather. And you can actually do the thick cloth here, so that's cool. You just need sand cloth for that to happen. But I should get the available resources to get the bigger storage bag and then that way we can carry a lot more loot moving forward. But with that all being said and done, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it here today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by as always. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell. Alright guys, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.